Howdy guys, this is Scorecat13, I'm a woman with a deep voice, and we are playing Under Hero. Last time, we started Longwoods Manor, and this episode, we're going to continue here in Longwoods Manor. Now, let's get back to the pretty music. As much as I like that song, I like this song much better. Now, give me my freaking potions. Alright, let's see. I might as well grab a couple of these, too. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. You and your hat. Alrighty. Well, looks like we got these stairs we can play around with now. Let's go ahead and have a look over here. You need a key. You need my key, you piece of... Man, fuck you. That ain't nice. All right. Well, what that was saying is that one of the ghosts of the manor has the uh, has the key that we require. So that is a thing. That is a thing. This is a very cool ballroom we have here. Although somehow I think that it's a big, big, tall ballroom, which is fun. I see the Mountain Dew box sitting over there and the corner of my line of sight. I want a Baja Blast, but I'm out of them and I didn't buy more because I'm stupid. I'm in the bathroom! Okay, okay, now, now that's taken care of. Oh, I'm so happy that there's a toilet in this freaking room. I'm sure Blair needs to go to the bathroom bad. I'm not going to bother with that because I'm not stupid. Hello there. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, bat. At least this bat's smarter than the moth and it actually gets out of the way. Alright. Too bad he's easy to dodge. You know what game I want to play right now? I can't explain why. I want to play Paper Mario. No real reason, I just... I just want to play Paper Mario. Seems like a fun time. Oh no. My thing is over there, I want the treasure chest so bad! Ooh. Awful spooky out here. Alrighty, now we're getting into a new mechanic. Ghost blocks. Yeah, ghost blocks aren't really that threatening, to be honest. They disappear when you step on them, so that's kind of annoying. Hello there, sir. Ugh, garden chess. So much fun! Between you and me, I might leave my post in a little while. So don't be surprised if you see me somewhere else. Eh, yeah, duly noted, duly noted. I will do just that. Alrighty, so one thing of note, when you are outside this lovely manor, because it is snowing, you will not be able to glide, so... Yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Unfortunately, the game is so kind as to leave you little breadcrumbs full of coins. And yes, there is a reason why I'm doing this. There is... What the fuck? Where'd he come from? Sir, I don't have time for you. I'm losing HP at a very rapid pace. I know you want it because I imagine you're in great inconceivable pain out here, but... I just... I don't have the time and energy to dedicate to you. I think you hear a little bit of Twinkle in the Fire in this version of the song. Which I find very interesting. Aw oh, man, why'd you have to drop that into the freaking pit? That's mean. Oh, hello. It's a door. I love it. Where does it lead? I don't know. We're in a hallway. Okay, hi. What do you have to say? 
Oh, hey, boys and girls. <laughs> you want to enter the Baron's room? Yes. The buttons does lead to the tower. It sure does. Then yes. <laughs> Good. Because you can't pass, sorry. I know where this is going, so what do you want? And say quickly. Bring me a drink. That's it? Bring me my favorite drink. I had to ask. We have a kitchen on the second floor. There should be an open window outside that leads us there. We could make a drink there. Are you even going to tell us what your favorite drink is? Not really. You disgust me. <laughs> if he wasn't holding me, he would be showing you several hand gestures. Alright, well, we just got one of our missions. Which is, uh, make that guy a drink if we are going to deal with the lovely Abedin. The fuck are you doing here? Ah, greetings, my child. We meet again. You're interrupting the story, Masky. Oh, don't be so rude, little Tim. Everyone can listen to the story. Fine. Hmm. She talked too much, but I needed her help if I wanted to defeat the evil king. Before doing that, we had to fight his most powerful underlings. One of them was a huge salamander with a foreign name. He lived on a tropical island to the south of the castle. Move your butt, hero. We have no time to lose, said my loud companion. I do not think I like her very much. But what kind of book is this? No wonder it was hidden so well under those bookshelves. Certainly not for kids. Oh, come on. Oh, a little hint of things to come in World 3. How about that? I cannot take this anymore. I have to accept it. I have to accept it. There is no other way. I am old. Long gone are my days of being praised as a hero, but most importantly, what I miss the most is my beautiful self. I'm no longer the young lad I used to be. I look hideous. I cannot take this for much longer. I don't think my broken heart can resist the pain of my loss. I miss my youth so much. Perhaps it is time. A little bit of dialogue about our lovely boss to come. War has finally ended. I am being called a hero. Yes, I like that. Greg the Great. Well, at least it starts with the same two letters. They say my deeds in this war. Oh god, yeah, I know. Yeah, well, there it is. They say my deeds in this war have earned me the title of Baron. They even gave me a huge manor. What am I going to do with all this space? I know. I will decorate it with paintings depicting my beautiful jawline. Was he Patrick Warburton? Today is the day war has torn the kingdom to shreds. Today I will enlist and fight with all my might. Yeah, that guy sounds real cocky. Honestly, I don't feel bad whatsoever that his fucking... his appearance looks so hideous now. Probably matches his personality really nicely. Thank you. Alright, let's go inside this window. Apparently this is a window. Looks like a door. Oh god, really? Well, shit. That was dumb. <sighs> well, yeah, that, that was to be expected. Fair warning, guys. If you do not have the wick on your candle lit, you will not be allowed in past any ghosts. It's very annoying. I'm going to go ahead and put up our little friend. I'm going to make my way back there because that was bullshit. Okay, I am back. Apparently I wasn't allowed in the club. Now I'm sad. 
What do you mean I'm not allowed in the club? I just wanted the treasure chest. It looked so fun. This place looks like it could use some renovations. Speaking of renovations, we really have to fight these damn spiders. Ugh. What a horrible fucking time to not have any freaking brushes equipped. Oh wait, I have a rush! Haha! -ha! Oh shit, I didn't kill him this time. Remember during my uh, failed recording or whatever. I remembered that I was able to kill these bastards much quicker. God, I hate this attack. It's so cheap. Agreed. Hmm. Yeah, not this time, asshole. Apparently this time. Ah, oh, finally, got rid of one. Oh my god. Well, at least they're defeated. <laughs> And we leveled up! First level up of the video! Hooray! Oh my god, what do I want to upgrade? I think I'll upgrade some HP. Whew. Definitely not the same thing I upgraded last time. I attempted this recording, but... At the very least, I now have more hit points and they can't kill me now! Although, they're red cap. Hi there, fellas. You seem like you're missing something in your life. Excuse me? Yeah, like your heart has a hole that only treasures could fill. Oh god, he's speaking this poor kid's language. What do you Oh, what do you want, B Brano? Bella, girl! I haven't seen you in decades! Okay, peeps, here's the dealio. The siblings and I are thinking of going to the graveyard, but you can't go to a party with your hands in, do you dig? You don't have hands, sir. I dig? Mike Rose are looking for the party supplies, but it's taken him so long. Could you go find them and tell them to come back here to their bro? We need to hit the dance floor ASAP. And we should do it because... I had there are priceless treasures and junk hidden somewhere in the dark maze. I, I have the key to the maze, you dig? Oh, well, Blair likes that. Blair, you have a problem with treasures. I'm Bueno. Where are your brothers? I have five brothers, and you'll find them indoors for sure. All right. We'll think about it. These treasures better be good, Bruno. They're to die for. <laughs> Sorry. You look at that a lot around here. No oh, what really cheesy jokes. <laughs> you found the cups. Braze was searching for these. Alright, now we have the main mission of this portion of the castle. Or the manor in this case. We need to hunt down each of the ghosts. Which all need a very specific thing. Broadus. Alright, so this guy wants balloons. Which, fortunately, we know where the balloons are. They're inside the maze. However, Braze wants the cups. And once you give them the item they're searching for, well, it, make, it makes them want to go to Burano. Also, this guy's in the bathroom. Apparently, this guy needs perfume. Yeah, you really don't want to know. Anything Handy says is probably very, very perverted. Oh god, I really, I really don't want to have to deal with these assholes. Really, really should have lit the fuse. 
or at least jump over the asshole so that I can go ahead and lay my vengeance upon thee. Well, okay. It, it's not that big of a deal. Let's see. You are here. Alright. Oh, God. Forgot about this asshole. I don't want your herpes. All I want's balloons. Can I have balloons? Alright, they're in the storage room. I know that. Hi. Do you happen to know what balloons are, sir? I, I would... There we go. Alright. Brodus. Brodus. Such a dumb name. I love it. I love the fact that they have just such stupid names. Then again, what do you expect? I mean, it's not like... I really did not want to fight this ghost. Well, that was utterly pointless. At the very least, we got our fuse back. Oh, Brodo, I happen to have your balloons. You're not freaking Brodo. Ugh. God, it's always so hard to get comfortable whenever I'm recording, you know? Because you gotta, like, lay your arm on a specific part of the pillow, otherwise it hurts. Alright, sir. I have your damn balloons. Now go away. Alright, one down, several to go. Several to go. I really wish that they would have told us where these assholes were, because now I gotta think of interesting commentary. Let's see here. Oh, hello. Hey, that was the perfume that guy wanted. Brinko. Oh, that was convenient. Oh, hey, look at that. We just introduced some verticality to this freaking area. I like it. It reminds me of the tree. The Great Deku Tree. My forever resting place in the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Because I suck at dungeon crawling. Hooray. I'm not even kidding when I say that. It's like, I am so bad at Zelda games. I can't even explain why. It's just like... I don't know if it's just like a lack of patience or whatever, but... I have never been good at Zelda. Even though I was like, I want to be, but I'm just, I'm so bad. Furthest I've ever gotten in one is probably the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Even then, I'm not that far into the game either. Kitchen. Apparently there's a kitchen here that I was not made aware of. I wonder where it may be. That is the question of the century. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, you weirdo. You and your freaking perfume. Let's see here. I'm trying to think if I can actually, like, jump over that guy. Ah. Well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. I suck. I know I suck. Well, I know not to go in that room. Do we haven't gone all now? Well, there, there's just a wall there. That's right, because Mr. Ghosty McGee is there. Now we're back into the cold. Ah, oh, man. I remember having to wait for my mom in high school. Having to stand outside in the cold. That is, uh, yeah, it's not fun. Although I did get to uh, talk a lot with my, uh, one of my friends. Who I had, like, she, her nickname was Mabel because both of us were, like, big into Gravity Falls. So, yeah, I was Dipper and she was Mabel. I was a girl Dipper. It was awesome. Yeah, that's right. I have those cups, sir. 
All right, finally I can get rid of this bastard. Yay! Now I can get rid of this guy. <sighs> mercy, mercy, mercy. So, uh, let's see. Things to talk about. Honestly, I'm kind of curious to see if, like, Nintendo is going to do any more GameCube game remakes. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if they did, because, let me tell you, GameCube's been, like, big lately, so... And honestly, like, I, I think GameCube nostalgia would be, like, the perfect way to, like, end the Nintendo Switch, because the GameCube was, like, one of the most experimental eras of, um... Um, Nintendo, so, you know. Let's see, he wants a camera. Well, at least the guy was nice enough to tell us where it was. Yeah, honestly, um, I'm trying to think of, like, what GameCube games I would really want to see a remaster or whatever. Obviously, I want the rest of the... Uh, the rest of Metroid Prime, just, you know, for the Metroid fans. But... <sighs> Yeah, I, honestly, I don't know. Like, I legit don't know what games I want to see remastered. Just simply put, the more GameCube games out there, the better, you know? Because it was an era that really didn't get a whole lot of love. Aside from, like, from Nintendo fans. Like, those were really the only people that did anything with that, so... Honestly, I think the generation that really needs more remakes is the Wii. Like, considering the fact that we had the, uh, the gyro or whatever, I honestly don't think it would be that hard to port Wii games anymore. I don't think it'd be easy. Like, obviously, there'd have to be, like, some... There'd have to be some liberties taken. But honestly, I, I think it could be, like, really relatively interesting to see, like, what Wii games could be ported to the Nintendo Switch. Of course, I'm in favor of Galaxy 2 getting a remake, because, to be quite honest, I, <sighs> Galaxy 2 honestly deserves it. Like, if any game, if any Wii game deserves it, it's Galaxy 2. And I, I'm still, like, so shocked that I was, like, so mean to Galaxy 2. Because, like, that that's honestly such a good game. Like, it's such a good game. I guess probably one thing that really bothered me is just how derivative of Galaxy it was, but at, at least at the time, I thought it was very derivative, but nowadays, I would give anything to play Super Mario Galaxy 2 again. Just simply put, Galaxy 2 is just such a good game, and having it more readily available than ever, I think that'd be really good. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I think Super Paper Mario deserves a remake for the Nintendo Switch. Like, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with that, but... Honestly, Super Paper Mario really is a good game. Because in fact that they're doing Thousand Year Door, I think Super could probably get a remake. I think that'd be really cool. That'd be, like, the one I'd really want. Well, obviously the one that I really, really wanted Epic Mickey, well, that's actually becoming a reality, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. Like, I'm really happy that Epic Mickey is getting a remake. Like, nobody would have guessed that Epic Mickey would have gotten a remake, but apparently they decided that it'd be a really good idea, and you know what? That's a good game. It's a game with flaws, but honestly, what good game doesn't have flaws? It just adds character, K. Okay? It just adds the character that you need. It makes it more unique. And honestly, Epic Mickey is already a pretty good looking game, so all you really need to do is like spruce up the graphics, fix the camera issues, and a few other things, and you're honestly pretty golden. Or at least I like to think so. Because that's just me. I, I really like Epic Mickey. It's just a game that really deserves all the praise 
that it needs, wants, whatever. Epic Mickey 2 can stay in the pits of Tataris or whatever. It can stay on Chernobog's mountain. I don't want it. Although interesting thing about Epic Mickey, apparently Chernobog was going to show up at some point in that game, but... I guess it would be too derivative of the blot, because, you know, the blot already kind of looks like Chernobog. So... Yeah. Really don't want to bother you, sir. And I have your camera. Alright. I think that's the last of those guys. God, I hope so. Because if not, I'm going to be very upset. Alright, we're back in the room. Hello there. You still haven't helped all my brothers, yo. Which one did I miss? What, was it the douchebag that wanted the cups? Oh, please, God, tell me that's the one that I'm missing. Ah, yeah, that's right. Did, did she just call that guy chubby? What the hell, dude? Judgmental little hilt, let me tell ya. No, oh, thank you so much. The whole gang is here. Now we can crash that party. All right, little brothers, it's time for the countdown. Braze. This mag, the magnificent Brinko, Brado. Braze, braze, braze. Brodus and the Bros. Brado, party. <laughs> You found a purple key. It opens a creepy door. Alrighty, now that we've helped all the ghosts, that should calm things down. Enough for us to head outside, I'm not really sure. Please tell me that's the case. Otherwise, I'm running over here for absolutely no reason. Apparently not. Well, now that we've saved our progress, I think that's a pretty good place to stop the video. Next time, we'll figure something out. Bye.